Listen, lady, I'm not going to say it again. Open your mouth and take your bloody meds or else you'll be in big trouble. I said open your mouth. Oh, are you kidding me? Again? You wet your pants and you think I'm going to change you at the end of my shift? Not happening. You could stay like that for the rest of the night for all I care. Mercedes, you can't be yelling at patients like that. You need to calm down. You've lost control. What, what day is it today? What is she even saying? This woman has lost her goddamn mind. Don't tell me to calm down. She's been refusing to eat her food. And to top it all off, she's made a mess. Look at the mess you made. Look! I'll calm down when she stops being so difficult. Don't put your hands on her like that. I'm not going to stand by here and watch you treat our patients like this. Look, take a few minutes. Go for a break. I'll take care of it from here. Take a few minutes? Watch your mouth and don't talk to me like that again, rookie. You have no idea what you're dealing with. I've been working this job for years. Trust me, I know how to handle this. I'm gonna teach her a lesson, and I promise you that once I'm done with this old bag, she's never gonna refuse her meds again. Okay, that's enough. Can we go outside? I'd like to talk to you. <laughs> Look, if you don't like this job, resign and stop taking out your frustrations on these people who have literally done nothing to you they're asking for is a little bit of compassion. What you're showing is aggression. Since when did you become their spokesperson? Let's be realistic. These people are a burden on the system. They deplete resources. They pay no tax. They have nobody. And we're the ones stuck cleaning up their messes. Literally. You're lucky the head nurse isn't here today because I'd have her suspend you for preventing me from doing my job and saving a patient from their own stubbornness. If anything happens to her, it's on you. Doing your job? Are you completely losing your mind? You're a disgrace to this profession. Once I report you, you'll never work in this field again. That's hilarious. Don't you see what's going on out there with this pandemic? Every single hospital is short staffed. We can get away with murder if we wanted to because the system is falling apart. You're a menace to this profession. I'm gonna make sure you get what you deserve. Okay. I'm so sorry, Mrs. Charlie. I was completely out of line. I shouldn't have raised my voice like that. I know you probably heard what was said and I want you to know she was lying, okay? What's the point of a lifetime of helping others and being compassionate if you end up being treated this way in utter loneliness? All I want is to be reunited with my late husband. I serve no purpose here, and it's probably easier if I was gone. But Mrs. Charlie, where would you go? Die. Well, we certainly can't have you leave us wearing your flannels, Mrs. Charlie. We don't get to choose when our time comes. And besides, what would your late husband say of all this? Could I ask you for a favor? Would you mind if I dressed up tonight and you could accompany me to the cafeteria so I can watch the stars the way Roger and I used to? Of course. It would be my honor. After this, I'll go check with Nurse Sandra. She's the other one on duty for tonight. You won't bring back that evil lady, will you? No, Mrs. Charlie. I give you my word. I'll take care of her. I'll make sure she never hurts you again. Let's get you cleaned up. Mrs. Charlie, are you ready? Almost done. Be right there. <gasps> you look magnificent. Thank you. 
Like my mother used to say, when you're feeling down, get dolled up and you'll cheer up. You have nothing to fear anymore. I'm gonna be with you 24 seven and I won't let anyone hurt you. What are you doing wasting your time here with old people? You, you could have a career in showbiz or you could be out dancing with the most handsome man in any club you want. These moments are far more precious to me. Dedicating my time to someone like you is such a priceless experience. It's, it's why I became a nurse in the first place. Society dislikes anything old unless they're antique objects because, well, they're worth money. When it comes to frail human beings like me, people just don't care. What they forget is sooner or later, they'll feel this pain too. I never had the luxury of knowing my grandparents. So this place, it's, it's in some way like their place. And I've learned so much from you about life. Like, remember that time you helped me get over my ex with your one piece of advice? <laughs> School doesn't teach us what matters. You've been helping me grow daily, and I can't thank you enough for that. You're far from worthless to me. I only have stories of survival and random acts of kindness, stories of, of grief and joy, stories nobody seems to care about anymore. No, they matter to me. Your stories give a new purpose to my life. I think you and I make a great team, and we all need somebody like you to listen to for life advice and wisdom. Other people are really missing out. That's sweet of you. But from what I'm hearing, I can still make a difference. Might have to stick around after all. Lucky you. You get the easy part of this shitty job. So what's her problem today? Did she sleep? Actually, she slept like a baby. She's eating right now and she'll be ready for her medicine whenever you're ready. So much for getting me fired, huh? Where's the suspension you talked about? I'm still here, aren't I? <sighs> yeah, you sure are. The system doesn't care about these people, Kayla. You know that. There's no resources for them. Look at how many of them died during the first wave. Nobody cares. It's the cold hard truth. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. I'm just doing what's necessary. So stay out of my way and don't confront me like that again. Understood. She better comply because I didn't get much sleep last night and I can't wait to get out of here. Well, you'll have plenty of time to do that. Enough! No more! You're done. I saw you on this camera. Your reign of terror ends today. You set me up? We set you up. And where do you think you're going? Mr. Dux, I'm surprised to see you here this early. I was intending to finish my rounds. You aren't going anywhere. I'm appalled that this type of behavior was happening in my residence. As the owner, my main responsibility is to make sure that people in your position are rooted in the moral obligation to keep the best interests of our patients a priority. Clearly this isn't the case. Sir, if I may- No, you may not. And I'll make sure you never work in this field again. You're a disgrace to this profession. I don't understand. Why does everybody protect these people? They're gonna die and nobody cares. They're lucky we're willing to do this job. We care because we're human beings and caring for the elderly shows our own humanity. 
And it's just the right thing to do. Humanity. Right. This is Charlie. I want to express my deepest apologies. Because of what you went through last night, we were able to isolate 11 other patients who experienced the same thing. And all that comes to an end right here, right now. And Kayla, I truly appreciate your passion for protecting the elderly. And your intuition was spot on. I thank you very much for acting so quickly. And if there's anything else I can do, please let me know. Caring for people like Mrs. Charlie is perhaps the greatest responsibility we have. Those who walk before us have given us so much and made the life we all enjoy possible. Mrs. Charlie, how about I cook you up the meal you and Roger love the most? That would be wonderful. Elder abuse is more common than you think. Are you or do you know an elder that's being abused, neglected, or exploited financially? Frequent arguments, tension, or a change in personality and behavior in an elder can be a broad signal of abuse. If you notice any of it, speak up. It may make all the difference. Help us speak out against it by sharing and liking this video so we can continue doing what we love, shifting life perspectives one video at a time. Enjoy, Enjoy the, the next, next video. video. You folks can go right back where you came from. There. I said it, and I don't give a damn what people think. This is unacceptable. <laughs>